Lee County is as far west as you can get in Virginia. Residents here like to say this is where Virginia begins. Its western tip is in the Cumberland Gap, made famous by Daniel Boone, and is also home to Lincoln Memorial University's Veterinary School. The county has vast mountainous landscapes and is home to many other points of interest, including white rocks in the western end of the county to the stone face rock on the eastern side. Charlie Carter grew up in Lee County, went away to serve 20 years in the Navy, and came back to pursue his passion in raising beef cattle, a passion that was instilled at a young age. What put farming in my heart was the beef program. Um, we raised beef and I did that. And my dad was a mechanic, so we just had a small barn lot. But um, the extension agents were fantastic back then and, and helped me get started. And my neighbors helped me and, and um, local farmers helped. And so that kind of got it in my blood. Anza Fisher has been raising cattle for 50 years. He's seen a lot of changes over that time and is grateful for some of the advances in technology. It's got easier. Um, with the machinery and from when I started, uh, uh, even myself, I've got uh, better machinery and a lot more machinery than what we had back then and, and years ago. And, and uh, sure beats a team of mules, I know that. Judy Williams owns two small businesses in Lee County. Old Virginia Log Homes, and Axe Handle Distilling. She and her late husband started by making their own log house, and things took off. After we started our house and, and finished it, we just, it just mushroomed into, we did, you know, we did a few the first year, and then a few more the second year, and then we have done up to about 60 houses a year. Williams' newest venture Axe Handle Distilling opened last year. It features a tasting room, a distillery, and a stage that's used for open mic nights. She hopes tourism will spark more economic activity in the county. We still have farming, but the tobacco is pretty much gone. The coal mining is gone. And we feel that tourism is the answer. We feel that we need to, we need to promote tourism in order to bring other people into our county. Um, we just think that that would be the answer. Lee County is both rural and remote. The county seat is Jonesville, which is not far from the Lee County Airport. With medical care so far away, local leaders are hoping to expand the airport in order to build a medevac capability. That would be good news for farmers. We need to have the capability of getting people who are hurt in agricultural accidents to the uh, uh, trauma unit as quickly as possible. That first, that trauma unit, trauma one unit is located in Johnson City, the closest one in Johnson City, Tennessee, which is 70 miles away. So if we have a medevac unit here, we can shorten that time uh, from between accident and, uh, and treatment. Lee County is closer to nine other state capitals than it is to Richmond, which is some 350 miles away. Raleigh, North Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Atlanta, Georgia, Nashville, Tennessee, Charleston, West Virginia, Frankfort, Kentucky, Columbus, Ohio, and Indianapolis, Indiana are all closer than Richmond. And the western tip of Lee County in the Cumberland Gap is closer to Montgomery, Alabama than Richmond. This part of Virginia is as far west as you can get. It's known as the Pinnacle, and behind me is where the state lines of Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee meet. It's farther west than Pittsburgh, even farther west than Detroit. Lee County has a total of 830 farms, covering 94,904 acres. The market value of all agricultural products is $15,266,000. Livestock makes up the bulk of that, producing $11,293,000 each year. Cattle and calves account for $11,021,000, while sheep, goats, and other livestock come in at a distant $144,000. Horses, ponies, mules, burros, and donkeys bring in $51,000. Overall, Crops account for $3,973,000. Hay comes in at $2,023,000.
Vegetables bring in 570,000 and grains bring in 448,000. Lee County producers have had to adapt to changes in the marketplace. Amy Byington grew up on a tobacco farm and is now the county extension agent. She says there are experiments underway that could advance new opportunities for farmers here. One of them that I'm working on is, is working on specialty grains. So we've got some demonstration plots and some research plots on malted barley. Um, and we've had uh, two growers to grow malted barley successfully in the county. Um, and we're actually working on developing a, a grain terminal, working with Invest Southwest and uh, Department of Mines Mineral Energy and a few other partners um, to bring that to this area. Um, and that uh, is supposed to be specifically trying to, to work with the craft um, beverage industry. Um, so uh, malting uh, different grains, including raw um, wheat. Lee County had been in a dry spell when we visited. So when remnants of Hurricane Fred passed through the area, the farmers here were grateful for the rainfall. The wet weather didn't deter Kevin Slemp from holding a scheduled cattle sale on his property and it was good for the grapes in Robert Boss Vineyard. The rain didn't seem to bother the cattle on Jeff Rowlett's farm either. Rain or shine, the farmers in Lee County are ready for the changes on the horizon, and they're determined to keep agriculture part of their culture for generations to come. In Lee County, Virginia, I'm Burke Moeller reporting.